Good day, our cherished sisters and brothers. May the radiant rays of the morning sun envelop your hearts with warmth and love. As we embark upon each new day, may it be embraced by the sacred grace and benevolence of Jesus Christ. May God shower His blessings upon you, not only for a good morning but for the entirety of the day ahead. We are wishing you a day filled with divine guidance and blessings. Over the past two days, an extraordinary event unfolded within the confines of a church in Massachusetts, where an unwavering priest persisted in conducting Mass even amidst the relentless onslaught of a typhoon. Amid the tempest's fury, the clergyman exhibited remarkable dedication, choosing not to interrupt the sacred proceedings. Astonishingly, just five minutes after weathering the storm within the Mass, a miraculous occurrence transpired, leaving congregants and witnesses awestricken. The details surrounding this remarkable event and the divine intervention that followed have become the subject of intrigue, sparking curiosity and reinforcing the belief in the profound and unexplainable forces that may manifest amid adversity. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join and pray. Holy Spirit, Divine Counselor, and Source of all Wisdom, I invite your presence into my heart and mind. Enlighten my understanding, that I may discern your will in all things. Grant me clarity and insight as I navigate the challenges and decisions of life. O oh my God, Thou knowest my great poverty and misery, and that of myself I can do nothing, Thou knowest how unworthy I am of this infinite favor, and Thou alone canst make me worthy. Since Thou art so good as to invite me thus to Thyself, add this one bounty more to all the rest, to prepare me for Thyself. Never let me be guilty of Thy body and blood by an unworthy communion. For the sake of this same precious blood, which Thou hast shed for me, deliver me, O Jesus, from so great an evil. Amen. The story behind this remarkable sequence of events is poised to captivate the hearts and minds of those who seek solace and inspiration in the face of life's challenges. In a quiet Massachusetts town with beautiful scenery, there was a small church that meant a lot to the people living there. Something very special happened in the last two days inside this church that everyone who saw it would always remember. A big, strong storm, called a typhoon, came through the town, causing a lot of chaos and damage. But inside the church, Father Gabriel, the priest, didn't let it stop the church service. The loud rain and strong winds made sounds like they were knocking on the church walls, but Father Gabriel kept going. He continued leading the Mass, with the candles flickering and people singing, creating a feeling like something magical was happening despite the storm outside. The people in the church, sitting in their seats with a mix of amazement and nervousness, saw Father Gabriel leading the Mass with strong determination. His eyes seemed to shine with a special light, and even though the storm was making a lot of noise, his voice could still be heard clearly. After about five minutes of the church service going on without any interruptions, a quiet and special feeling came over the people. Suddenly, a peaceful atmosphere filled the church, and a warm, comforting light seemed to surround everyone there. People started whispering with amazement and thankfulness as they felt a strong sense of calm and comfort. This unique moment, where the church service continued despite the storm and a feeling of peace came over the people, became a story that everyone in the town would remember. 
It showed them the power of faith and brought a special connection to something greater, leaving a lasting impression on the hearts of the community. As a big storm roared outside St. Michael's Church, Father Gabriel kept leading the Mass with strong dedication. The rain hit the windows, and the wind howled loudly, making the church feel like a magical place. The candles flickered, casting moving shadows, and the people kept singing hymns, creating a cozy feeling of worship despite the storm. After about five minutes of the continuous Mass, something amazing happened. The air in the church seemed to change, and everyone became very quiet and respectful. Suddenly, a bright light covered the altar, spreading a warm and golden glow all around. The noise of the storm outside quieted down, as if it knew something extraordinary was happening inside. Right in the middle of this glowing light, a special image started appearing, it was like a shield with St. Michael's picture on it. St. Michael was the special protector of the church. The shield looked like it was floating and shining with a special brightness. The people in the church, with their eyes wide open and holding their breath, saw the magical appearance of St. Michael's shield, a sign of God's protection and strength. Whispers of amazement and wonder filled the church as everyone looked at this incredible sight. The shield seemed to beat like a heart with a comforting energy, and a strong feeling of peace surrounded the church. Father Gabriel, feeling very humble and touched, continued the Mass with a deep sense of God's presence, guided by the magical light of St. Michael's shield. Even though the storm outside kept making noise, inside St. Michael's church, a peaceful and magical feeling stayed. The people, grateful and with stronger faith, left the church that day, always remembering the special moment when St. Michael's shield appeared to protect them during the storm. To make your soul's condition more like that of the Creator, you have to raise your spiritual level. Divine love itself is defending you because you are the offspring of the Father. My legions will never abandon you, we will constantly be on your side. Saint Michael loves you, blesses you, and protects you. Psalm 107 verse 29 He stilled the storm to a whisper, the waves of the sea were hushed. Psalm 107 verse 29 is a powerful verse that highlights the divine authority and control of God over the forces of nature. The imagery of God stilling the storm to a whisper and hushing the waves of the sea paints a vivid picture of His ability to bring calm and peace to tumultuous situations. This verse is a testament to God's sovereignty and His capacity to intervene amid chaos. In a broader sense, this verse resonates with the theme of God's protection and guidance in times of trouble. It reassures believers that, just as God has the power to command the elements and bring stillness to a storm, He can also bring tranquility to the storms of life. It encourages faith in the belief that, no matter how overwhelming the challenges may be, God has the authority to bring about peace and resolution. Now, let's join and pray. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.